So when we start thinking about a growth plan, the first thing we look at is your personal aspirations. You know, it goes without saying very, very much that your personal aspirations underpin your growth plans. And so the first thing when you're thinking about your growth plan, why are you doing this, is what is, is, what is driving you, and I mean you, forward to grow your practice. It could be, as I know you, Stacey, it could be that you want to grow a million pound practice in five years. It could be, as I know with some of you, particularly John, it could be that you want to actually grow something so you can spend more time with your family or to have more time off work to travel or to buy a holiday home. It could be to build a nest egg so you're financially free if you ever decided to sell your practice. It could be all of these things. It could be to build up a business to hand over to your children or it could be just that you don't want to work as hard. And actually, it doesn't matter what your personal aspiration is, you just need to get it out. And by having these aspirations identified, it keeps you focused on what you're going to do to grow your practice to take you forward. It's, it's all so, so easy to get caught up in that whole, oh, well, so-and-so is growing a practice because of this, I must do it. And, and I don't, I want to get away from I need, I should. It's what are you choosing? You know, what do you, I choose? What are you choosing? What is in it for you? So just quickly in, in the chat box uh, or a piece of paper, just in the next 30 seconds, you know, what's your, why are you wanting to grow your practice? You know, what is your personal aspiration around joining the club? Just put it, you know, drop it on a piece of paper, put it on the question box, put it in the polls. You know, what, what's in it for you? So it's good to hear people's ambitions and what they're wanting to do. And, and it's interesting, Stacey, to prove I can. You know? And actually, I think you and I are wired quite similarly, Stacey, because, you know, I've, I've, you know, I'm not challenged anymore by turning over 150K a year anymore. I want to grow a million pound business myself, like my, like my clients, to prove that I can and to have something to pass on to my children. It's exactly what I want to do as well. Um, so we've all got different ambitions, different driving forces, but the commonality here is we're all trying to grow our firm here. Now you've had some initial thoughts about your personal aspirations. It's also now time to think about your vision. So how is your practice going to help you achieve your personal aspirations? And when we talk about vision, we're talking about that big, big, big goal that you want to achieve. You know, so what do you want your business to look like in five years time? And, you know, the key here is to actually sort of write down a sentence. And I typically look normally at a three year time span because stuff moves so quickly. So I've seen all of your personal aspirations. But where do you want to get to in three years? Where do you want to get to? So just kind of mull that around a bit. And just as a captain of a ship defines the destination and the route the ship will travel, your vision is going to be that declaration of that big goal in the direction if you want to take your practice. Now, there's a slight difference here. You know, I, I, I once worked with two young partners, sort of early 30s, that had taken over a sizable practice. And they went and told their personal vision to their staff, which was so that we can earn a lot of money and go on expensive holidays. As you can imagine, that went down like an absolute lead balloon. So when you think about your vision, it's got to be very much the public vision. Yes, you can be slightly honest with them, you know, to allow me to do this, this and this, but you've got to really think through their lens. So. You know, you want to communicate that vision to your team, where you're going and the direction you want to take the practice. As I said, the staff don't need to actually know your personal reasons for your vision. They just need to understand the vision, the big goal for the practice. And this vision that you share publicly, so not your personal reasons for wanting it, unless it's kind of appropriate in the wider arena, but the vision that you share publicly is the foundation upon which you build your growth plan. And, and this is, you know, this is what I talk about getting to the starting gate. I don't think any of you are, are sitting there and going, well, I just want to be a million pound practice because it sounds good. 
and, and really being absolutely clear about what is driving you forward. Because without that, the day job will start to take over and it will never quite get there. 